right, we're here in Las Vegas. We are here at Sam's Town. We are here at Coachella. We're just about to walk in. All right, so I'm here in the San Jose Arena. Hello, my name is Jonathan Bell. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Torrance, California. I'm here to show you Spin Earth, why I'm the number one Killers fan. I was at my best friend's house at about uh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning on VH1, like the insomnia music came on, and uh, I saw a video for Mr. Brightside, and I was like, wow, this video is fantastic. I had never heard uh, somebody told me on the radio, because uh, back then all I used was my MP3 player or my uh, iPod at the time. And all of a sudden, Mr. Brightside came on. Um, and it kind of reminded me of a situation I was currently going through with the girl that I liked. Um, I was just hoping that she would kind of stick to me and, you know, like the video implied, not be like promiscuous and everything. And I was like really being uh, Mr. Brightside. So uh, the video is like fantastic. And after I saw it, um, I made sure to get the name of the artist. And anyway, I went out and got the CD. And ever since uh, Jenny was a friend of mine with the helicopter sound and the sirens coming on in the beginning, I was like, wow, this, uh, this CD is going to be awesome. And uh, to this day, that video is still like my very favorite video of theirs. It's an awesome video. So that's pretty much how I started up liking the killers. Before Coachella, uh, at the joint, after the concert, the uh, band manager was really kind enough to invite me to go backstage and meet the killers, which was um, amazing. I got to shake hands with them, say hi. I actually ended up talking to Dave, the lead guitarist, for a little bit, which was uh, so amazing. That's a conversation I will I will never, ever, ever forget. So do you write lyrics too, or is it only just rap? No, he, he's, he's picky about that. He, we all help write the music. He writes the lyrics. Which I, I don't know. Oh, you're the lead guitarist. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess it's a bigger deal than what I'm going Everyone only write the song oh, yeah. and practice oh, yeah. usually together or yeah. somebody come in and practice. Uh, the lyrics are I told you, I told really. her what you said. Oh, then. Just, uh, sometimes he likes to cleaned up and I even told him that he was totally sexy yeah. to get what? an idea of the song. What did you do? And then he was writes she, the lyrics in the studio. Was that for all the songs? Was for every single song? Surprisingly, I told her. She told me. So it was in the same room with him as the other two that's just how it is. So what about the double like down? down like we shirts. could try and do it another way, but Brandon, he looks fantastic, and he cuts hair, he looks amazing. I've been picking her with that, right, for like a year. She's cool. And now it shows, like, we do, you know, Stacey Andy's? He produced the Low vs. Iron record. All right, well, keep in touch, I'm going to get there. It's annoying last minute at times, so I'm just waiting to make sure you know what the music is just sitting there. Who's funny? You're like, I already got my part done. Yeah. Put some words together, please. He still doesn't finish lyrics on something. And because of the killer's fan site, The Victims, I was surprised actually how many people knew I had won this uh, contest. It was pretty cool. I felt uh, really honored that people, uh, there are a lot of people that, you know, paid attention to the contest and that there's so many uh, victims, victims fans out there. It's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, what's your name? Don. We're here with Don. He actually got the symbol. Tell me about this. Why you can't tell him? Yeah. Ronnie. Ronnie gave him the symbol at the end of the show. He's thrown a lot of drumsticks my way, and I've never been able to keep my hands on any of them, so he knew I could catch you. That is awesome. <laughs> got a symbol from his drum. There you go. Uh, this whole experience is really great. Uh, I would have never have imagined myself uh, <laughs> being able to see the Killers three times in a row. Because, uh, you know, I live in Los Angeles. I haven't been out in Los Angeles in a while, so... Um, just being able to go to all the places outside of here that are close to me has been truly awesome. Just want to say thank Tilly so much for uh, allowing me to go on this opportunity. Uh, thank you, uh, management for the Killers. You know, you guys have been great helping us out this whole trip. And I also want to thank Spirit so much for even uh, throwing this contest in the first place. It's an awesome, it's been an awesome experience. Um, well, my flight should be leaving pretty soon, so I got some uh, really detailed writing to do for you fellow uh, Killers and Victims fans. 
Uh, stay tuned to Spin Earth, and you'll see some more stuff.